All right, so this is going to be review number three. Now, this is a movie I watched last night on uh, Prime Video. Uh, actually, I've subscribed to Shudder and Paramount because they have some pretty good channels, actually, and they're cheap, five, five bucks a month, basically, for two channels. So this is a movie called Revenge, uh, which is a movie I've been wanting to see since it came out in 2017, I guess I just never, I just got, kind of forgot about it, really, and then I just seen a trailer for it again on Amazon there, and I was like, oh yeah, this movie, um, so, this movie is starring Matilda and Ingrid Lutz, wow, that's, what a name, um, who plays Jen, and then Kevin Jansen's as Richard, uh, Vincent Col, Columbi? as Stan, and I'm assuming Gilman Buschetti as Dimitri, I believe that, yeah, that was the four main characters, I'm assuming. Uh, so, it seems to be kind of like a love story at the beginning of the movie, um, between Jen and Richard, uh, obviously we know that he has a wife and kids at home, and he's brought this other girl along with him for this trip, so I guess she's kind of like his mistress, is the deal here, I suppose. And uh, when his two buddies, uh, Stan and Dimitri, show up, uh, unexpectedly, I guess a day early before she was supposed to get back on the helicopter and go back to L.A., uh, she kind of gets stuck with them, although she's doesn't seem to really be bothered by it, because obviously I guess she feels safe with Richard, right, being there. And she's not really worried. He, she, he just calls them as business associates. But I guess they're his buddies that he goes on a hunting trip with every year. I'm supposing, I, I would imagine, annually. Um, and things kind of turn sideways, obviously, when Stan decides to... Yeah, Stan decides to rape um, Jen while Richard is gone one day for like two hours out doing whatever he's doing, errands or something. And when he comes back, he finds out about it and yells at um, Stan, obviously, because he would be upset, he would think. And when he comes back in, not exactly what you would think would be happening, but he tells Jen that she has to go to Canada, he's wired a bunch of money into her account, and so on and so forth, but she just wants to go home, which probably would have been the best thing to do with her anyway, is just to send her home and, you know, treat her right after something like that happens to her, and obviously get the other two guys out of your house, but that's not what happens. She ends up running away from the house, and eventually they all catch up with her, and she's at the side of this cliff, and he, I believe, probably pretends to call the helicopter, because I don't think he actually did it. But, uh, anyway, he ends up pushing her off the cliff, and she falls down into this tree, and it goes, like, right through her whole side. Now, I'm not sure whether, I don't think she would have survived it, or would have probably lived very long, um, anyway, even if she hadn't died from the initial fall. But, without that, there wouldn't have been this badass movie that came out of it, so yeah. Um, so she falls... They presume she's dead, so they say when they go out for their hunting trip, they'll just clean that up along the way sort of thing. And then when they come back the next day, she's not there. Because <laughs> uh, she has found a way to, I guess, burn the tree. Um, and maybe that was the part that cauterized the wound on her back, was the burning of the tree. And it just ended up snapping off, and yeah, I'm not sure. But I think... She ends up cauterizing both wounds in the cave later on in the movie, after she's killed the first guy. Um, but anyway, she ends up taking this peyote, like, and peyote is a very potent mushroom, like a form of magic mushroom. Uh, so she ends up taking it, and uh, she remembers that uh, Richard had said that uh, the last guy who took it sawed off his own leg and couldn't feel any pain. Um, so she takes some in order to... Uh, like cut the uh, branch out of her stomach and then cauterize the wound obviously she does end up passing out from the pain obviously because your body would respond regardless of whether you felt it or not but uh, she ends up with this kind of cool uh, design because it was like from an 
energy drink can, so she ends up with like this eagle and all this wording on her stomach. So that was kind of that was kind of cool. And then she uh, she kills the first guy by stabbing him in both his eyes, so he can't see. And when they try to call for Dimitri, obviously there's no uh, chatter back on the radio. And then he ends up floating ashore to them. So now they know that she's killed at least one of them. Uh, and now she has a weapon tree, right? Because she's stolen his four-wheeler and so on and so forth. And now she's gone to this cave and she's cauterized her wounds. So she's back to full health. Well, sort of. I would imagine she had probably an insane amount of internal bleeding. So I'm hoping that she ended up getting <laughs> proper medical attention once she was done. Um, yeah. Once she was done, I guess, her own sense of revenge mission um, by killing all three of them. So she kills she kills Dimitri first by stabbing him in both eyeballs. And then she has this huge battle with uh, Stan on the mountain. Um, and I don't know how she survived some of this. It was just crazy. Like, Luckily, Stan was a bad shot because she'd already gotten him in the shoulder. And then she'd um, broken some glass and he'd end up getting it right into his foot. That was a nasty scene, him trying to take the glass back out of his feet. Wow. Just, some of this was even hard for me to watch, and I'm a huge fan of, like, gory movies. But, yeah, that was, some of this was pretty intense. And then he tries to run over with the car, but she's able to shoot him um, right through the head. So she's a, she's a pretty damn good shot for not having very many marksman skills, I guess you could say. I don't think any of them were really that great of a shot for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he hits her, like, right on the side of the head. And she almost dies in that scene. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like she was just, like, crazily overpowered all of a sudden. Like, she had to really fight to kill these guys. Um, so, yeah, she just turned into, like, the badass chick once she, uh, <laughs> once she was, uh, once she realized who these guys really were, I guess, uh, obviously. And obviously she isn't going to trust Richard anymore because he was the worst one out of all three of them in the end of the movie. Um, at least Stan felt guilty for what he had done and, you know, tried to, I guess, reconcile for it a little bit, even though he was trying to kill her anyway. But, yeah, he was... It was kind of funny because he kind of backs out of the entire thing of killing her and just doesn't want to have anything to do with it, really, I guess, and decides to stay back and so on and so forth and then Richard kind of brings up a good point like he goes about you, you had balls when you wanted to do what you wanted to do with her but now you're going to back out because we're trying to kill her so that we don't end up going to jail because of this uh, so anyway the reason Stan I guess thought that she was interested in him was because she was dancing with him the night before but I mean that I wouldn't really say it meant anything. It was kind of more because Richard wouldn't dance with her, so she just chose a different dance partner. That That's what it looked like to me. And then her and Richard ended up going to bed together anyway, so I don't really know where he thought that she was interested in him, but that's just my take on it. Maybe, maybe I'm not reading that scene right, but yeah, I would say that he probably overstepped a little bit in thinking that she was just automatically interested in him because she dance with him once. Uh, so, that's obviously how that whole thing goes down, and then the scene in the mountain between the two of them where she ends up killing him, and then obviously she has to go back and kill Richard. I guess he's kind of given up at some point and just calls the helicopter to come pick him up, and then he, uh, I'm trying to think. Then there's this huge... Uh, scene, battle scene between the two of them at the end of the movie, and oh my god, that was so bloody. She shoots him through the stomach, and he's bleeding everywhere, and then they're running around the house, and he ends up hitting her in the back of the head, and you can just see her, like, see him, like, choking her to death, and she's almost at the end of her... It looks like she's going to die, honestly, and I was like, oh my god, she can't die now. Uh... How did she get out of his grip again? I'm trying to remember. I think she's... Doesn't she stab him or something? I think she might s stab him somewhere. And then he drops her. 
and then she grabs the gun off the ground and turns around and just blasts him again and he just goes flying. But oh my god, the whole house was just a blood <laughs> just a blood soaked mess by the end of it. And then she walks out to the end of the pool and that was the end of the movie. So she wins in the end. I thought maybe they were both gonna die somehow, but yeah, she ends up she ends up killing all of all three of them in the end and I'm assuming uh, the opening scene was just the helicopter coming in, so it makes more sense at the end of the movie when the helicopter, when you can hear the helicopter again, finally coming into the scene to, I guess, pick her up. Because obviously they're going to be picking her up now and not the rest of the three guys because they're all dead, right? So, yeah, but this was a good movie. Um, I'm happy that I finally got to see it. It came out in... Now, I... Uh, sorry. Amazon says it came out in 2018, but this says 2017 on IMDb. But not that that really matters. The movie's just as good, regardless of when it came out. Um, uh, so, I gave this movie an 8 out of 10. I thought it deserved that. It was good enough for that. Um, yeah, and then I watched another movie after that that was kind of similar to it, but not quite not nearly as good as this one. This one was done right, um, as far as I'm concerned, as far as revenge movies go. Uh, so yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye for now.